begin by updating breaking news that we've been following all day. A local and national landmark is reduced to a pile of rubble. Tonight, the Admiral Twin Drive-In Theater is closed after a devastating fire. Two News reporter Asia Vickers has been following the story all day. She joins us live in North Tulsa with reaction from the community. Asia. Well, Russ, the movie screen that once stood here is now gone, and with it, the childhood of so many. Uh, Admiral Twin is an icon. It took only minutes to burn down the screen that's over 60 years old. Gary Philby was a projectionist here. I couldn't believe it because this is 15, 20 years of my life out here that I spent and see this in the shambles. I mean, it's really disheartening and sad. Strong winds fueled the fire and shot smoke and embers across I-244. The highway was shut down for a while westbound from Memorial as grass fires sparked along the road. It took firefighters about 45 minutes to put the blaze out. Blake Smith is the owner. It broke my heart. It's still breaking my heart, and it's kind of hard to, it's hard to look because that tower was really such an icon of Tulsa. Um, you know, it, it, it goes with so many other great things about this city, and, and uh, even if we rebuild it, it will never look the same. This drive-in theater was one of the longest running in the country, mostly known for a scene in the classic movie, The Outsiders. That movie was supposed to play next weekend for the close of the season. There is now a possibility it may never open again. Because it's a huge part of our childhood. And I know when I have children, I'd like to bring them here. But I don't know if it's going to be possible now. All that was left, a wooden shell, which had to be torn down. And with that go the memories of so many who felt the movie magic at this theater. And the owner tells us that he has no fire insurance, so he's not, he doesn't know when he's able or if he'll be able to build again. Live in North Tulsa, Asia Vickers, 2 News works for you. Asia, thanks. It is a very sad day. Now, firefighters say they aren't sure what caused the blaze. They are still investigating tonight.